Hi everyone! In this week's lab, you will be assessing various aspects of your soil's horizons structure. In particular, you're going to be determining its bulk density, measuring the distribution of the aggregates, and assessing how stable they are. Now, if any of these terms are unfamiliar to you, please review your lab manual before you come to the lab. Plus, you might want to consider looking at the glossary page listed on LMS. Andrew and I have also suggested some excellent textbooks that describe these concepts and these are listed in your reading list also on LMS and of course there will be some associated lectures discussing soil structure. But let's talk about the lab. Now throughout this lab you're going to be using your bulk density sample that you collected when you were out at Northern. The first thing you're going to have to do though is um, weigh this core with the plastic bag and any masking tape. And before you commence uh, measuring anything to do with aggregate stability. So first things, determine the weight of this core and the soil that's in it. And instructions on how to do this are provided in the lab manual. Now once you've determined your bulk density, the next thing you're going to have to do is break up this core using this particular sieve. So you're going to be breaking it up into aggregates that are around 8 millimetres or less. So for the remainder of the lab, you're now going to be using this broken up soil sample. Instructions on what you need to do then to, to determine your aggregate size distribution and the stability of those aggregates are provided in the lab manual. But I'm just going to quickly show you some other key pieces of equipment. First of all, there's the balance. You're going to be weighing various things throughout the lab. But before you take any weights, can you please check using the spirit level on the um, balance that the actual balance is level? This will ensure that you um, get good measurements. You're also going to be using this set or nest of small sieves to help you determine the distribution of your aggregates. An important thing to do before you start using these is to check that they're in the correct order. And the correct order is also listed in your lab manual. You'll also be using various aluminium tin trays. Um, there's these sizes here, um, but you may also be provided with some larger sizes as well. When you're using these tin trays to collect samples that you need to subsequently dry in the drying ovens, please be sure to label them correctly before you put them in the drying ovens. This is because you'll need to reweigh them the following week and other people actually use these drying ovens. So we want to make sure that you can find your samples um, in the following week. The final piece of equipment that you need to be aware of is the Yoda equipment. Pictured right here. Now there are some details around about how to use this piece of equipment uh, in, in your manual but ultimately you will need instructions from your demonstrator. So when you are ready to use the Yoda machine, just approach your um, demonstrator and let them know, and they'll uh, show you what is involved. Basically, you're gonna use um, this piece of equipment to determine the aggregate st stability of your soil sample, because you're going to be wet sieving it. Now there's no chemicals um, used in this practical. So the main safety risk is really around uh, maybe possibly dropping something on your foot, which shouldn't be concerned because you're going to have um, covered footwear on. Uh, and also when you come to break up that core, there's a small risk that you might uh, cause soil to be propelled towards your eyes. If you think that's a risk, um, then please put on safety glasses. So a final reminder that this video is not a substitute for reading your lab manual. 
So please review uh, all the details related to this uh, lab before you come to the class. Um, and if there's anything that's unclear, please ask your demonstrator for further details uh, at the start of the lab. I hope you enjoy uh, measuring aggregate size distribution and the stability of your aggregates. Yeah.